What's up everyone, it's Mikhail Casanova, Hawaii's favorite YouTuber and host of the number one podcast in the state of Hawaii, The Casanova Podcast. I'm back with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review for a series that I hold very dear to my heart and I've enjoyed every entry, including Revolution, which a lot of people critically panned. But I'm talking today about Valkyria Chronicles 4, which, well, we're going to see if this game is actually worth your time and money. I mean, I've had some time with it. I've played enough of it to review it. I mean, I've beaten it already, too. But, you know, we're going to find out if this is something that you need to pick up. Is it as good as the original Valkyria Chronicles from a decade ago or even the remake that came out two years ago on PC and, and PS4? And if this is good enough for us to finally get three in the west well stay tuned strap in and uh let's get this review going was there any doubt that we were going to get a new valkyria chronicles after what happened with valkyria revolution no there wasn't and honestly before that when valkyria chronicles 1 released on the ps4 and steam back in 2016 we were given a hint via survey that there was to be a continuation of the core franchise in the fourth entry, or at least that was an option that you could select if you bought the game. Moving forward, in the West we've received two of three of the main entries prior to Valkyria Chronicles 4 in both 1 and 2, and with the release of 4 we now have the latest entry, but when did we get 3? Valkyria Chronicles is a series of tactical RPGs with a twist. Rather than moving units from a fixed sort of commander view overhead, you take direct control of characters in third person in a shooter style. Like most tactical games, you have a limited number of moves per turn and each character has a limited range of movement and number of actions that they can perform in a turn, as determined by their class. Each class has different offensive weapons and support skills they can use to assist other friendly units or push back the enemy. You take turns alternating between you and the opposing force to move your units and have them take some sort of action. Now, it, this is my opinion, but I think that everyone should play the original Valkyria Chronicles because it's excellent. But the first game is not a prerequisite for Valkyria Chronicles 4. The sequel takes place mostly concurrently to the first and third game. It's set in the same world and the same war, but in a different area. Valkyria Chronicles 4 is structured in such a way that it plays perfectly well by itself with how Valkyria Chronicles 4 acts as, in many ways, as a companion volume, showing the world and war being fought over from a different perspective. It's like having two different books about two different campaigns in World War One and Two. Individually, they're interesting enough, but put together, you start to build a more complete picture about the real scale of the war. And once again, we have a story about a group of characters tackling a more powerful empire for a war that is over a rare resource, set against the backdrop of a world that is very close an approximation of the political environment in Europe leading up to World War II. Well, in all fairness to Sega, this game's squad of heroes are an enjoyable, eclectic bunch. You know, they banter well with one another to brighten up the overall dark setting, but when the chips are down, there's plenty of heroism that comes from even the most casual among them. Now, each character has a backstory, and characters' traits based on that background. Some characters thrive when surrounded by a particular gender, or they feel calmer in more neutral and natural environments, which helps them by, you know, being more accurate with their shots. Characters have their own interpersonal relationships as well, and will be more effective when surrounded by people they know well. For this reason, you need to consider much more than class composition when choosing your character deployment before a mission. This all might seem like a lot to consider, and to be honest, it is. But a fairly easygoing tutorial mission introduces new players to these concepts in a way that's fairly easy to understand. Most characters have at least one negative trait, something that, when triggered, will have a detrimental effect on your turn. 
If you use a character regularly enough, however, you'll be able to access some special side story missions which flesh out exactly why they are the way they are, and as a bonus can often turn that negative trait into an advantageous one. Combat is unchanged too. Valkyria Chronicles 4 offers a mixture of real-time and turn-based strategy mechanics. So players move their units one at a time and electing a soldier turns the game into a quasi third person style shooter. The selected unit moves around the map freely but with a limited range and only one action, combat or otherwise, per turn. Valkyria Chronicles isn't the first game to mix real time and turn based from a strategy purposes but it's so satisfying, satisfying and balanced here. The turn based moves allow players the time to methodically plan out an attack but there's also a wonderfully real-time tension when controlling a unit. If a soldier gets in an enemy's range of fire and they're out of cover, they can get cut down, even before they take an action. Similar to how XCOM or Fire Emblem, a soldier's death in the field is permanent. Well, for the most part. Valkyria Chronicles itself, Valkyria Chronicles 4, sets this Valkyria Chronicles sets itself apart from the other two games by having select immortal or primary characters. The three or four story characters of Valkyria Chronicles 4, being Raz, Kai, and Riley, will merely retreat if they fall in battle. The death of the fourth main character, or the main character, Claude, the tank commander of Squad E, will resort in a immediate game over. For everyone else, once they're gone, they're, they're gone. All of their XP and emotional attachment, it all goes with them. Now I'm wrapping everything up, Valkyria Chronicles 4 isn't as advanced as you'd expect from a sequel. That's three times removed from the original. Valkyria Chronicles 4 is just more of Valkyria Chronicles, albeit with an all new cast and a couple new character classes. The game feels more like an expansion in many ways than a sequel. And the presentation of Valkyria Chronicles 4 to be honest, in its pastel shading and cell shaded style, is vastly improved over the original as is the visuals. Valkyria Chronicles 4 looks better than any remastered version of the original, even on the less powerful Nintendo Switch. You know, a little bit of polish and refinement honestly doesn't make a brand new game. That's not a bad thing, I'm just saying. Anyone who is expecting Valkyria Chronicles 4 to be something entirely different, or even better than the original, is truly going to be disappointing. However, if you're looking for more of the same and you just love the lore of this world of Valkyria, and you want to know more about this war and see it from various different angles and aspects, then this game is for you. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And with that being said, all in all, Valkyria Chronicles 4 is Casanova approved. And with that being said, that's going to wrap up this review of Valkyria Chronicles 4. This game is amazing. Does it do anything enough different? to fully differentiate itself from the first installment, no. Um, but that's not a bad thing because Valkyria Chronicles 1 is very, very original. It's, it's such a landmark title that I really don't mind for pretty much being an expansion in my opinion. I mean, I, I look at it like this. Valkyria Chronicles games, since 1, 3, and 4 all happen around the same time, basically at the same time, just getting different perspectives on them. And I think what's amazing about that is it gives you the opportunity to really, you can flow from one to another. Because like I said in the review, if you play them all, you'll get a better grasp of what's going on, including Revolution, which I know a lot of you, a lot of you probably haven't even played the game because I know a lot of people will just go off of a YouTuber saying the game is horrible or a content creator or a writer, journalist, whatever, saying the game is bad, and then you don't play it. I really think you guys should, and this is my prerogative, go out and play a game, try it for yourself to figure out if you like it because you could like something a YouTuber or a content creator probably doesn't. It was not that terrible of a game. Actually, I don't think it was a terrible game at all. I just think that it didn't do what people expected. They were expecting 
a traditional Valkyria Chronicles game and they didn't get that with Revolution. But I think the franchise as a whole is great. It's great to see Sega back in full form being able to bring us that RPG goodness which Sega is known for. So ultimately I think Valkyria Chronicles 4 is an amazing game which will give you hours upon hours of content and good times and good memories. The gameplay is phenomenal, the story is also really phenomenal, voice acting is phenomenal. And if you're a fan of the series, you're going to love it. If you're a newcomer, you really don't have to understand or know the lore of Valkyria Universe. Uh, you could literally just go into Valkyria Chronicles 4 and you'll be fine. So yeah, you don't have to play 1, 2, or try to find a translated version of 3, or even play Revolution. This will be everything you need right here. And if you have the collector's edition, if you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you just want to play the regular version, you can always pick this up. This is available on Steam, PS4, Xbox One, as well as Nintendo Switch. I got it on the Switch just because I wanted it portably. I really love this game. But with that being said, why don't you guys tell me what you think down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can sponsor your channel or you can check us out on Patreon. That being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces wow. Hold on. Deuces wow. Too sweet. Be the elite. And I'll catch you on the next one.